Hello and welcome back to Super Auto Pets. Uh, I made a video that came out yesterday at the time of this recording uh, where I just kind of like went over the basics of this game, why I like it, why I think it's good, just kind of showing off some synergies. You know, didn't win the run, but um, all in all, I feel like it's kind of a good primer for how to play this game if you haven't. Um, and I wanted to keep that going and just kind of keep this as a series where I'll like explain out loud all the moves I'm making and why um, to kind of maybe better give an idea of like different builds that you can make. Um, I want to be clear, I don't know the meta of this game. I'm not like good at this game. I have won once and I felt very good about that win, but um, I'm not gonna let that go to the old noodle, you know what I mean? Let's go into arena mode and start and see what we have here. Um, immediately I like this opening shop. I don't care about the honey that much um, at the moment, but okay, here's what I like. Let's go over what we have here. We have an otter who gives a random friend plus one plus one when we buy it. We have a pig who uh, we get an extra gold from when we sell it. So usually we would sell for one, we'll get two back if we sell the pig. Then we have a fish who when we level it up gives all friends plus one plus one. What I'm most interested in with this fish is the stats. The stats are pretty good. Two and three in round one is like a pretty beefy unit. I mean, even compare it to these two. Um, the only thing that would be able to take it down right now is the pig uh, in one hit. So if we take the fish and we put it down, follow me here, we have a two, three unit. We take this otter who's gonna buff the fish, blammo. A 3-4 unit right at the top. It's pretty good. And we'll take the pig because we're going to sell the pig later and uh, have more gold to spend next round. I feel pretty good about that. Now the order is important. I'm actually going to put the fish second. Is that silly? I don't know how much that matters. I'm going to hit roll. What do we got? I will freeze a beaver. Uh, the beaver, when we sell it, gives two random friends plus one health. That's gonna be very useful because what I'm what I'm gonna want to do, personally, is sell the pig. Maybe not sell the otter yet, but put the beaver down, um, and then maybe sell it immediately. We'll see. But let's end the turn and let's pick. Uh, wow. These are all very dirty. I'm gonna uh, uh, incredible that we have unwashed and clean. I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid all of this entirely. I'm just gonna do the witty housewives. It seems fun. I would hang out with them. What are they up to? What are they doing on a Tuesday? It's Wednesday. What are they doing on a Wednesday? Two ants and a fish is kind of rough. Let's just go over this real quick. The ant when it dies gives a random friend plus two and plus one. Um, so they're gonna have a very beefy unit as well in here. Unless it gives it to the ant, which is not too bad for us. Yeah, that was rough. That was rough. All right. First round defeat. Could be worse. Uh, this is interesting. The duck, when you sell it, gives shop pets plus one health. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not very interested in the horse. I don't have anything that summons anything else. Uh, I am going to buy the beaver. Well, hang on a second. Yeah, I'm going to buy the beaver. I'm going to buy the duck. We're going to roll again. Stay with me here. See what we get. All right. If we sell the pig, we'll have five gold. If we sell the duck, all of this stuff will be leveled up. Some more beefy units, which I feel good about. Nothing is synergizing, which is kind of rough, but the stats are nice. So this will be four, five, six, seven. We can get another reroll out of it, too. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's sell the pig. I'm gonna. Oh man, um, this is rough. I'm gonna freeze the duck. Believe it or no, I'm not. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna let fate decide. Sweet. Fate, my hero. All right, 
This is great. This is actually very good. Sell. Ant. Sell. Ooh, gave it to the ant. I wish fish over otter, but that's fine. Uh, second ant here. Otter up front. We only have four units going into this round. That doesn't feel very good, but uh, I'm... I like what we're building towards here. Um, I'm actually thinking about freezing this beaver so I could buy it and sell it. We'll see. All right, end turn. I'm not like super confident in how this is going. I don't think I don't think this has been great. Oh my god! Look at this. What? Oh my god! All right. Yeah. Beef that up. Mm -hmm. Beef that up. Draw? It's a draw. Okay. I'll take a draw. I'm fine with a draw. That's fine by me. Spider I'm into. Spider I'm into. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw a spider up front. Just right away. Uh, I would like to... Sell the otter. I'm going to buy a beaver. Uh, just to be clear, I don't think the otter has very good stats. Um, one three isn't very helpful. I don't want to invest in it. It's synergy is only good for when you first buy it. So it's not a thing you want to keep in your party for very long, at least in my experience so far. Um, I am considering buying the beaver and then just selling the beaver again, uh, because any one that it buffs here, I actually feel pretty good about. Um, so let's do this. Let's roll. Love a second fish. Love a second fish. Um, I'm actually just going to buy a second fish here. Um, and let's roll again, and then we'll save the beaver selling for next round. Um, but in the meantime, let's reorder everyone a little bit. Yeah, let's do this. Hmm. Deal two damage to all. Eh. Let's roll again, see what we get. Flamingo. Love a flamingo. Uh, shrimp? Okay, here's 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 my my grand design. All right, so the shrimp. Well, let me let me explain the flamingo first. The flamingo, when it faints, it gives two friends one one. If I can get a pill, which is the thing that uh, kills one of your units, I can put the flamingo down and then immediately pill it, and then you get uh, some extra stats on your guys. Um, the shrimp, I might put down. What I'm considering is merge these two ants together, put the shrimp down, sell the beaver. And then I, I'll probably have enough money still to buy some more stuff. So we'll see. So I'm going to freeze the shrimp as well. I don't really care about the horse. I don't really care about the apples that much. But right now, this is going to be our squad. You know, the ant could buff any of these. This ant could buff any of these. It's kind of fine. They all have, like, pretty decent stats. The spider's obviously got a whole lot going on. Uh, the spider, just to be clear, when it faints, it summons a level 1 tier 3 pet. Um, so these dice... Uh, that you see, you know, this is one dice, this is two dice here. Uh, do we have any tier three? We don't, uh, but the spider's gonna give us a tier three, so. Let's hit end turn. Um, again, not the most confident, but we'll see. That mosquito's rough. Okay. Give it to the beaver, it's fine. <laughs> okay, really beefy beaver going on here. Who do we get? Who do we get? A turtle! Okay, turtle's good. So that just gave it melon armor, which means that it's gonna eat this attack, which is pretty tight, actually. I still don't know if this math is gonna work out for us. Oh, it is. Hell yeah, that's a win. You love to see it. That's, that's what, our first win? Kind of rough if that's our first win, but, you know, say la vie. All right, let's merge these ants. Let's put a shrimp down. Sell a beaver. Buff the ant. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna roll here. Three six is not bad. Oh. Okay, wait a second.
I'm liking this ant and this fish at the moment. I don't know how long the spider's gonna stick around, but I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna get a crab in here, just for this round, because it's gonna be a 3-7 crab. Uh, and this seems beefy. I could do a second spider. Now I'm gonna do a crab. Great. Hmm. I'm just thinking about order here. Honestly, I'm thinking shrimp up front, ant buffs any of these, and I'm feeling good. Because the thing about the spiders is like the longer they live, the better that works out for everyone. So um, yeah, let's just hit on turn and see how it goes. Always nervous. The swan I'm starting to appreciate a lot. At the start of uh, your turn, you gain one extra gold if you have the swan on your team. I had a squad yesterday where I was rolling with two swans. Great. Um, all right, let's see how this goes. That otter is beefy. It's interesting how much they're investing the otter. That fish is also gonna be problematic. Okay. Ant survives. Ant lives to see another day. Who are you buffing? The fish. Okay. Who do we get here? Kangaroo, ah, uh, that's not very helpful. Ah, uh, that's sad. Done. Wow, look at these two shrimps. Four, six each. Ooh. All right. It's our first loss, no, our second loss. Yeah, rough, okay. Ba, 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 ba. Let's, I actually don't care about any of this at the moment. Um, maybe somebody out there is yelling at their screen when I hit reroll here, but, um, I could level up the ant. I'm gonna say yes to that, actually. Get a rooster. I feel pretty good about that as well. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna sell the crab. Get some extra health to the spiders. Pretty cool. All right. Uh, let's get a rooster in here. I'm gonna roll. Ooh, ooh, I love it. I truly love it. All right. I want a kangaroo. All right, I'm selling the shrimp to get a kangaroo in here. Now the big question for me, so kangaroo, when a friend ahead attacks, gain plus two, plus two. So you wanna put it behind a unit that's gonna live a bit. Uh, what's also nice is if that unit just so happens to spawn another unit, that also works out in your favor. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna even freeze both of these and then reroll and see what happens. I wouldn't mind Having a being well on our way to a level two camel would feel pretty good. I might have to get rid of this fish soon. Also, anyway, um, so this rooster is going to attack, buff the kangaroo. Uh, maybe it dies, and then it spawns a chick, and then it attacks, and then it buffs the kangaroo. That's pretty good. Uh, maybe the rooster doesn't die. Even better. Because every time it attacks, it buffs the kangaroo. So, um, I'm feeling all right. This all could be better. Not really a coherent strategy is kind of the problem. They're running with four, though. Okay, that was pretty rough. That could have gone better for us. That's interesting. Buffing our fish. What do we got here? Oh, perfect. Blammo. Blammo. Buff the kangaroo. Get a chick. Look at this. Look at this. That's a win. Oh, kangaroo doesn't even go down. Incredible. Victory. Ooh, dodo I like. 
Um, hmm. Uh, hmm. I'm thinking uh, it might be time for the spider to go. The thing about the fish, that the fish has pretty good stats still. I'm gonna sell a spider. Now my big question is, Dodo up front? Or sorry, Dodo goes in our uh, newly created spot? Or do we do Camel? Twice. We can do camel, camel, apple to the camel. Give it some beefy stats. Ooh, ooh. I love this. I love this idea. Hear me out. All right. Camel, I'm just going to do it, but hear me out while I do it. Camel goes here. Camel goes here. We have a 3-6 camel. We take this, cam this apple. We give it to the camel as well. We have a 4-7 camel. Every time it gets hurt, it's going to give the friend behind plus 1, plus 2. That's going to give it to the rooster, right? So, plus, I don't know. Say it survives a hit uh, at all. Uh, that means that we have a, what, 6-5 rooster. Uh, which makes it tankier, which means it can attack more. Which means it'll continue to buff the kangaroo over and over again. So, the longer the camel stays alive the more it buffs the rooster, which means the rooster will stay alive longer, which means the kangaroo will become even more powerful. Uh, I love this. I think this is sick. Uh, I could even throw garlic armor on the camel if, I, if I'm feeling really good. I'm, I'm going to freeze that just in case. Um, what else we got here? Nothing's really speaking to me. Oh, wait a second. Turtle? The problem with the turtle is just its stats are so bad. <laughs> the turtle's just going to help. So my thought here is, like, what do I sell the fish for? Because those are some good stats. I'd like to ideally, like, have something that, like, f fits well enough in the team to make that work. Um, and if I put the turtle there, it gives melon armor to the camel. It's pretty good. Uh, if I did turtle and then also honey, that would be fine, but let, let's roll again. I'm not, I'm not super in favor of that. Hello. Hello. Now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. All right, we're going to freeze the kangaroo. We're going to freeze the ox. We're going to say end turn. I like this team. I feel good about this team. The witty housewives coming up in the world. What do we got? Oh shit, that's pretty rough. Swan's got the bone attack. The hippo with the garlic is pretty brutal. I think we're gonna punch right through the garlic. Yeah. Okay. It was a good, it was a good strategy to have that. Oh shit. Uh, it's gonna buff the shit out of that guy. Ooh, a draw. All right, all right. Look, that was a pretty good team that we went up against. So I feel pretty good about surviving. Uh, I've never made the bison work for me. I've, I've not once gotten a level three friend. Um, not once. Very sad. All right. Let's do this. Can? So the can, just to be clear, gives everyone in the shop plus one health uh, now and forever, which is pretty cool. Um, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Fish, gone. I'm going to put the kangaroo here because it's got really good stats. I want to merge this one into this one. And I do want the ox. I do. It's true. I want the ox. Uh, but where does the ox go? That's a good question. So the thing about the ox is that it does very well when paired with someone like the rooster because friend ahead faints gain melon armor and plus two attack. If you put it in front of a thing that spawns something else, that means it continues to get plus two attack as things keep dying in front of it. Um, 
So eventually, like if you had the ox and the fly, for example, if you have played this game enough to know what the fly does, wild. You know, you have like a thing that spawns something that dies, fly comes out, another thing comes out and, you know, keep getting flies, uh, keep buffing the ox pretty good. Um, for now, I've never used the peacock, like not once have I used the peacock, but I'm kind of interested in the peacock now. Why am I interested in the peacock? You know, you know what? I have, I have money to work with. Let's roll. I like a worm. I like a worm a lot. That's a pretty good worm right off the bat. The problem is I don't have any food to give it, but I might in the future. I think the ox is going to be, so my other thought was like, do I get the crab copy health from the most healthy friend? That's going to be seven, a five, seven crab just for one round. Isn't too bad. Um, but having an ox that will at least if all goes well, be five, five and have melon armor, uh, is pretty good. So I'm going to say yes to the dress on that one. Um, Ant up front still. Do I feel good about the ant buffing any of these? I think the answer is yes. Because if the ant buffs the camel, great. Camel lives longer, etc., etc., etc. Down the line. Um, do I want to save the worm though? I don't think I do. I'm just gonna roll again. Uninspired. Uninspired by this. Mm, I could do garlic armor on the camel still. Garlic armor, give uh, two damage less on whatever pet has garlic armor, which is like good in this stage of the game, but I don't really care that much. I don't really care that much. The Woody Housewives. Oh my God, look at that fish. Oh, the elephant. This is, this is an interesting team. Okay, look at this. So fish, whatever, it leveled up. So it gave all the friends, you know, plus whatever. Um, just a beefy fish that's just a stat play here you go the elephant is interesting before it attacks it deals one damage to a friend behind the blowfish when it's hurt it deals two damage to a random enemy so every time the elephant attacks it hurts the blowfish who's then going to hurt one of my guys man this is this is like pure anarchy this team it's very considered but it's pure anarchy Absolute nightmare. Absolute nightmare. What is interesting is putting this hedgehog in front of this hedgehog. So when the hedgehog faints, it, it deals two damage to all. It would make more sense to put the hedgehog with two health in front because this one might accidentally, or actually will, kill this, which will then just turn into a bee, which doesn't help very much. Um, I also don't know how this math is going to work out. I, I'm feeling... Well... Let's see. Okay, who are you buffing? The kangaroo, I like. Ooh, the rooster, rough. Mm hmm. Who are you hitting? Kangaroo, it's fine. Okay, okay. We're good, baby. Oh! B, yeah. And we eat the B because of the melon armor. All right. All right. The witty housewives come out on top on that one. That was surprising. I, <laughs> I was not expecting that to work out, uh, if I'm being totally honest. All right. Let's, uh, the can is a no brainer for me, always. Make every unit you buy better. Come on. Um, let's look at this. Does the ox really matter? in a dodo giraffe world. I mean, look at that dodo. 6-5. Already better than the ox. If I put two of them together, I mean, that's, it's pretty wild. I think, I think I'm doing it. Dodo, dodo. Let's roll. Save a can. 
Ride a cowboy. <sighs> elephant. I've never made the elephant work for me. Uh, oh, well, that's not true. I made the elephant work for me once, and that was just by beefing up the shit out of it and then putting it right in the back. Um, all right, let's hit this again. Hippo. Hippo's good. Hippo specifically is very good in front of the kangaroo. I like a hippo. I'm going to save this hippo because also those stats are absolutely wild. And if I have another can, look, give all current and future shop pets plus two plus one. I mean, what am I, what am I supposed to say? No to a hippo. You try and say no to a hippo is all I'm saying. I don't think you're going to be able to do it. They're cute and horrifying. This team is fucked up. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, let's, just, let's just go over what happened real quick. Dolphin at the start of battle deals 5 damage to the lowest health enemy. Crocodile at the start of battle deals 8 damage to the last enemy. Absolutely rocked. Didn't stand a chance there. Chick did surprisingly well. Man, the uncertain arms. Uh, they, they really they really did it to us. Look at this. Oof. Not a lot of wiggle room left here. Can, yes. Rooster, I think you gotta go. Hippo, you're in, baby. Badger's interesting. So... The badger, when it faints, it deals attack damage to adjacent pets. If you are lucky, what you can do is, if you have a beefy badger like this that does 11 damage, you can throw it up front and then put melon armor on the thing behind it. So it kind of negates that attack. Um, but you're doing, you know, in this case, 11 attack to whatever it is. Um, cupcake, I'm actually interested in keeping around for this round. Because uh, I'm, I'm feeling like our stack game is a little weak. I wouldn't mind giving it to somebody. Nah, I'm gonna roll. Pill. Wait a second. Wait a second. Hmm. Level up the kangaroo. You gotta. Leopard, start a battle, deal 50 percent attack damage to a random enemy okay okay it's a pretty beefy leopard given all the cans we've been eating monkey i'm gonna save the monkey i'm actually you know what I'm saving most of the shop i feel pretty good about it pill I, I think i could pill the ant that's gonna be fine and then throw a leopard in here uh and that's just gonna be pretty destructive um let's roll one more time see if we get lucky with anything else bison no dolphins interesting flamingo no all right intern all right hippo don't fail me now a rat is an interesting choice here. That was pretty brutal. Wow, dead immediately. Oh, that rat's gonna help me out. On the kangaroo front. Look at that. that I mean, that... It's a pretty rough little guy we got there. Oh, that didn't help too much, did it? Alright. <laughs> the illegal bosses. They got us. All right, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Peel the ant. Buff a hippo. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I'm thinking the dodo goes. Well, dodo's been helpful.
Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Dodo's gone. See you, Dodo. All right. Follow me. All right, we have 10 gold. That's good. Leopard up front. Monkey in the back. Monkey at the end of the turn gives the rightmost friend plus two and plus three. So as long as we have this party, you know, we only have one heart left, but you know, as long as this party exists, the monkey's going to keep buffing the leopard and that's just going to get more and more destructive um, until it becomes problematic for the enemy. Um, I'm going to roll once, see if I get lucky on anything. Anything that speaks to me, because I still have three gold left. Could level up the camel now. My thought was to use the pair on something, but now I'm thinking I level up the camel. Because that's going to buff the shit out of that hippo. And again, the longer the hippo lives, the better the kangaroo gets. Before attack, gain plus two, plus two. All right. Give a friend plus two, plus four. I mean, come on. That's pretty good. Um, do I want to save the boar? No. <laughs> I'm just going to do nine attack to somebody. <laughs> come on, snipe someone. Oh. What does a skunk do? Start a battle, reduce the highest health enemy by 33%. Uh, didn't even get the chance. Oh, never mind, it did. All right. Good, survive. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Look at this, this is gonna work out for us. Oh no. That just got buffed, that's fine. Great. Great. Knockout game, plus two, plus two, yeah. <gasps> a draw all right we live to fight another day the witty housewives all right look should i be that happy about a draw probably not but you take what you can get um give a pet splash attack that's very interesting i'm thinking I'm thinking of buffing the camel again. <laughs> and maybe giving splash attack to the leopard. Let's freeze once. See what we got here. Mammoth, faint, give all friends plus two plus two. I mean, that's not bad. We could also just buy it and pill it at some point. I'll freeze it. Um, all right. I'm going to... Oh, man, this feels dangerous. Doing 10 damage to a rando feels pretty good right at the top. Uh, and then also it's going to get, what, 22, so that would be 11. It's going to do 11 damage to a rando. My big concern, generally speaking, is just, like, the monkey. It's just, like, not holding its weight. Uh, but... Oh man, there's also the world in which I just buff the camel more. Keeps the hippo alive. Because those plus four... Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. You know what? I imagine that the pepper... Counts towards the knockout. If I had to guess. Ooh, can. Keeping it. Tiger Cub. Friend ahead repeats their ability as if they were level one. That's a reason to get rid of the monkey. Because I'm feeling pretty good about the, the leopard stats after this round. But if I can get the Tiger Cub to double buff the kangaroo i mean come on uh food with health and attack effects are double i mean that's pretty good usually but i feel about it here uh all right i was hoping for a pill but it's fine all right 
That's our team. That's our team. Um, ooh. <sighs> feeling dicey, feeling dicey. Skin of our teeth on the last one. Oh God, look at that blowfish. Are you kidding me? That's fine, yeah, knock, knock it down, a pig. What even happened there? <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Parrot and turn copy ability for pet ahead. That's good. That's a good one. Oh, we have a lot of good options here. All right. Uh, let's start with the can. Just buff everything. All right. Ooh. <laughs> what would we want to copy here? I'm thinking about this parrot. Doing 50% attack damage to a random enemy at the top seems pretty good. I could throw the Tiger Cub in between here. But I'm kind of thinking in the back. Hmm. Tiger cub, tiger cub, tiger cub. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sell the monkey, and we're we're gonna say yes to one of these three. The big question is which one. Um. Oh man, the kangaroo hippo camel thing is pretty cool. I kind of don't want to mess with it even. Um, and in fact, doing this would buff it. So we're gonna say yes. And oh, okay, 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 okay. Hippo gets more powerful. That seems pretty good. Oh god, I like all of this. Man, all right, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, I'm gonna hit and turn. I really hope that this, we don't get like sniped or something. Oh my god, look at those stats though. I'm starting to feel like this isn't the best vibe. Oh my god, yeah, we didn't buff the hippo at all, so that uh, wasn't very helpful. All right, well, <laughs> that's our run. Wow, only three wins there. Um, but very interesting squad we built up. It was very interesting. Um, hey, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you want me to keep doing this, let me know. I will. I'm playing this game just a whole lot anyway, uh, so I, I don't mind recording it. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you dig this. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.